We're pulling up on the Airbnb. Look at this. Legendary. Ooh. <laughs> boom. And boom. Ow. Rastafero. Blessings of wholeness family. Welcome back to my channel. We in St. Lucia. What's going on? Feeling blessed. We just had a successful retreat sold out. Vibes were super high. And then after the retreat up in the mountain, we decided to spend a couple days in the Airbnb away from up in the mountain, a little bit closer to the sea. So as y'all can see, boom. We got the ocean in the background and we actually just came back from our trip down to the ocean to go catch a vibe out there. This is like a noni paradise. All these trees are noni trees. Wow. And now we're back here in the Airbnb. I was so excited to come here into an Airbnb mainly because we have a kitchen. You know, we do got a we got a pool too, but what's more important to me is the kitchen. So today we're gonna, we just went to the market, got a bunch of different ingredients and we're gonna feast. So this isn't something that I've prepared. Like I know what I'm gonna make and I know it's gonna be amazing, but I have a great feeling about it. We got some great ingredients. We got some breadfruit. We got some seasoned pepper, some local ingredients that we can't really find back in Canada. And we're just gonna have a good time and just vibe out and see what we come up with. So check out the kitchen. It's a nice little vibe in here. So I got my help here. This guy here cleaning up. <laughs> now that's my good friend Roman. He came all the way from Germany to vibe with us, but not before he went to Los Angeles and Las Vegas for a little bit of partying. So he definitely needed to cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> and for us, you know that Empress is out. And of course, y'all know my sweetie. There, nice big table. Boom, this ain't even really all the fruits we got, but we stocked up. This is Mame Sapote. I think it is. Yeah, this is Mame Sapote. And then we got three different varieties of avocado. And believe it or not, y'all, avocados are hybrids. So these are all hybrid avocados, but they're all amazing, delicious avocados. Most of the things that we do feast on it is a hybrid at the end of the day. And we bless. So we got my favorite banana. It's not really my favorite. Y'all know the Makumbu banana. Let's see what else we got here. So today we got a special, amazing feast. Here we have the breadfruit. I don't know if y'all have tried the breadfruit. The only time I've really had it is here in St. Lucia. And it's one of my favorite things. During the retreat, we had this roasted breadfruit a few times and we had it served on top of a salad. Akima's like, okay, really now do like it, right? but if I'm like, just it's really, it really randomly, right? I can yeah. do it. Damn, why y'all putting me through this? <laughs> I can't get this when I go home. The salad that, you know? tops it yeah. off. Yeah. Like, really good. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And y'all know I love my jackfruit. And y'all can see this looks like a jackfruit. And this is actually part of the jackfruit family. So when it's not ripe, like it's not ripe right now, it's green. This is more like a vegetable, cooks like a tomato, cooks like a root vegetable. So this is actually amazing. And there's like, the trees are so abundant. So this is like feeding a whole village off of one tree. So this is amazing fruit and boom. We started already, we got a little bit of a head start. We have some marinated breadfruit here. We cut it up in wedges. And what we have in here is some of these seasoning peppers. So mm, these are epic. Like they're not spicy. They just have so much flavor. Like, mm, I wish y'all could smell these, but these are so good. We have these chopped up as well as some chives. And then we put some coconut oil, coconut milk, a little bit of sea salt and some cayenne pepper. So this is our marinade. This has been marinating for a couple hours as we went to the beach, we had it here. And just something I wanna show y'all is this is celery. What? Like this is what, this is celery, right? And nowhere on the island do they know what the celery, like they don't know how celery grows as big as it does where we are in Canada. You know how celery, they usually have mostly stalk and a little bit of leaf. Here is mainly leaf and a little bit of stalk. And it kind of throws me off like, what kind of celery are we getting? That's what I'm wondering. 
And this is actually just like a stronger flavor when you get the leaves. So this is delicious in a salad. We're gonna utilize a little bit of this. And this is our feast. I just wanted to show you all this spinach. <laughs> because we're like, no, spinach is bad. But look at this spinach, beautiful purple. Mm. And that's why I urge people to go travel, go to other countries. Because when you go to other countries, you see things that you would not see when you're at home. And it expands your awareness, expands your horizon. And then you get to see like one list. <laughs> I can't be confined to a list. Like that's wild, y'all. So giving thanks. Okay, so here's what we're going to make. We got the roasted breadfruit which we're gonna have as one of our mains. Then we're gonna make a salsa with more of this, this stuff here. And then we're gonna make a guacamole with those avocados that we have. The Empress is gonna be making some black beans with some coconut milk. Ooh, this feast was so epic, y'all. Y'all are in for a treat. So we may have an issue, but it's not gonna let us stop us, but we don't think that this oven works. It's been preheating for about five or 10 minutes and it's not working, but we get in this breadfruit. So we're gonna try to just fry it without roasting it first. We'll see how it goes, but is it looks like it's gonna be blessed. We'll try it out. You're gonna show us how to make the coconut milk. Oh, where's the my coconut? Pleasure. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Let me just show to you what I have prepared for this special occasion. <laughs> A whole bag of coconut. Hey. We bought those 10 for, um, I think like five Canadian dollars. Yeah, um, You're probably familiar with the process, but I'm gonna smack them. And make sure to actually smack them from all sides, right? So um, if you just smack them in the middle, you will not be able to peel out the different pieces. So you wanna smack them from every um, angle. That's possible. Smack that. Okay, also move the shoulder, you know, with the rhythm. <laughs> Movement. Hey, we out in St. Lucia. My guy, you ruined my song. <laughs> We're not gonna use that knife, even though it looks tempting, right? Because it can get better under the skin. Don't do it, otherwise you're gonna cut your finger. It looks very, it doesn't look as tragic, but it was very tragic this morning. Just go under the corner of the coconut and like use it, use it as a lever to, mm -hmm. to push it out like this. And then when Akima is not looking, you can also eat a little bit, right? Hey, so. put that in the bowl. <laughs> Spit that out. <laughs> so you wanna be smooth with it. Don't be so forceful, right? If it doesn't go in smooth in one spot, you can try another angle. Boom, got the whole piece. If you don't have access to these, like I know in Canada, these are a little bit harder to get. You can just get the coconut shavings and then it's basically the same process, but you skip this whole part because it's already off. And these shells actually can be used to make activated charcoal. This is really all activated charcoal is a burnt version of coconut shells. So if we had a fire, like if we were in the mountain right now, we could utilize this and make activated charcoal. Mm. So the key factor, we're not sure if the water is usable here and we prefer to not use tap water really wherever we are. So even when it comes to making your food and cooking, if you don't have a filter, buy bottled water and even use that while you're cooking. So we're gonna make that coconut milk and we're using purified water. It's in plastic, I know, it's the best we got right now as long as we're not in the mountain, but it's better than just using that tap water. Now we're actually gonna take you back in time, right? <laughs> this is probably the most. <laughs> this is probably the most legacy um, blend I've seen in my life, and I've been around for a bit, my friends. So it's crazy, <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> and the thing is, so many of y'all use excuses. I don't have a good blender. I need a Vitamix. Ah. You don't need none of that. Look at this. We're doing it all. We made smoothies. We made ice cream. We're making coconut milk. We're doing it all in one of these old blenders. No excuses, y'all. <laughs> Once you blended this, you just take a, how do you call this guy? Sieve. A strainer. A strainer. Sieve, yeah. And um, you basically pour. Whoa. <laughs> thick. That's thick. 
<laughs> Yo, look at this guy. That's, that's a solid sign um, that you probably should have used more water. Probably. Mm -hmm. But it's good because it's going to be a nice creamy coconut cream instead of exactly. coconut milk. Exactly. Yeah, I wanted to have more right. a coconut cream <laughs> for this particular <laughs> dish. Because we got him doing his manual labor. He's going to be squeezing it out. So you need two things to do this. The first one is hands. Hands. And the it. second part is this thing. <laughs> right? And then you basically just squeeze it like this, right? Like you go back in time when you were a child mm -hmm. and you were just annoying your parents by doing dirty stuff in the garden, you know? <laughs> this is where you go back to right now. <laughs> but you do to Coco. And what happens is you squeeze all the milk out and what's going to be left is this stuff with which you can then, um, I don't know, we make ice cream out of that, um, but I think there's different things to do out of that too. But it worked for us. <laughs> Today we did an ice cream, which actually tasted like bread. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty really good. It was amusing. <laughs> Here we have the coconut oil, which you're using to fry, which is boiled coconut oil. It's not virgin coconut oil. This one is so much better to fry in than the virgin one. But we got our breadfruit here and is it hot enough? Oh yeah, let's see how it is. We're trying this out together, it's just experimenting together. And I urge all of you to experiment, have fun when you cook. Like this is just fun. You don't need to know everything, but have some fun, try it out, and see how it turns out. More often than not, it turns out, and if it doesn't, then you learn something. So always prioritize learning and experience over having something that's perfect. So we got some of the breadfruit. I tried a little piece. Mm, tastes so delicious. But the real thing is if this thicker piece is cooked, then this breadfruit frying it is gonna be legendary. So let's give it a try. Cause if this is cooked, look at that. It looks amazing, let's see. Oh! Yo, we got a winner. Yo, this is legendary. Wanna try? Mm -hmm. It's kinda hot. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. It's cooked, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. need to be cooked that much. Cause this one was so thin and it's really crispy. But it doesn't yeah. need to be that thin and cooked that much. So this is that's probably good. And maybe even a little bit too much cooked, right? Mm, I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Tired. <laughs> you love your tired. Mmm. <laughs> It has like a, almost like a pastry, but it's not a pastry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the seasonings make it taste, mm. So good, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get the rest of these finished. <laughs> we got one. We weren't really sure how it was gonna turn out, but we know now, give thanks. <laughs> you know what, y'all? We're gonna take a quick break from the cooking. Can y'all wash the fried food for me real quick? <laughs> I'm gonna take a real quick break and I want to show y'all the rooftop because it's sunset right now So let's go check that vibe mm. So here's the staircase up <laughs> mm. And here's the roof but has this nice little vibe area right here And for me, this is inspiration. This is inspiration because I can imagine this place being full of plants Right? Full of plants. This is like a sanctuary and it's a place where there's not really beds like there is in here, but instead there's like a rug on the ground and floor pillows, just like my house, where it's mostly on the ground and it's just like a little vibe. But here is the rooftop. <laughs> Boom. So there we go. Got the pool. Here's the rooftop, so it's pretty big. Pretty big vibe in there. And like I was saying, it's like this is inspiration. So coming here, this is like almost, almost exactly how I would like our house to be when we're here in St. Lucia, where it has a nice rooftop vibe, sanctuary vibe in there. Here would be plenty plants, you know, so we have like, um, Let's say we have like a papaya plant. We have like all these exotic trees out here because they grow there so we can grow them here. So we have our plants, our sanctuary here. 
and then you know we got a little pool but for me preferably that pool is spring water so it's fresh spring water and it's running so as it comes it goes that would be the dream so as we're out here just getting inspiration getting inspired and as we inspire take that in we aspire and that's how we become something we aspire to be something so we inspire then and aspire to become so make sure it's that same cycle of bringing in that excitement bring it in that motivation but also going and creating yourself so that's why I love it because after I leave here I'm about to go create I'm about to go get to my vision so I get closer to actually being able to execute on making something like this happen in my life in my reality hello would you like to explain a little bit of what you got going on over here I have the plantain all cut up and ready. Mm -hmm. Then I soak the black beans and now we're gonna let them cook maybe halfway through. Then we're gonna rinse them one more time and add coconut milk, seasoning peppers, chives, and some spices. Good, thanks. I'm just frying them though, frying the spices. So that's the chives, seasoning peppers, coconut milk into the beans. Good. Thanks. And then we just leave them to simmer and we can add any other spices to taste. Now look at how the stars alive. You know that it takes some time to win. I'd rather be out the way. I've been doing overtime again. Yeah. Working on my level up. I've been working on my level up. Boom. So here we have an epic feast. Give thanks to Roman, give thanks to Empress Dora. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna sit down, put the cameras away. It's my man Roman's last night before he goes back to Germany, so we're just gonna enjoy the feast. But I wanna give y'all a reaction, you know? Because I love to share the joy of the food. So we're just gonna do a quick little taste test, then we're gonna leave y'all, and I'll catch up with y'all in the morning. Boom, so we all just gonna do one taste test before we get into the, the feast of all feasts. Hey, you got the moves, don't you? <laughs> it's my food. Give thanks, my love. Why don't you give it a try first? Get yours. Pick your favorite one. Yes. Salud. Joy. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 So epic. And say you can't find breadfruit, wow. you could really use plantains, you could really use taro, there's so many different things you could use, but we're using breadfruit, and you can find breadfruit, get you some breadfruit. <laughs> I know it's common in Jamaican, Caribbean restaurants, or um, Caribbean markets. I'm going to be on the search, if y'all know where to get some, put some in the comments. Mm. If you want some more beans, the beans are fuego. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did your thing, my love. Mm. Mm. Wow, I'm so full. You're full? Oh, we haven't heard her. She ate all. <laughs> <laughs> love y'all. So we're going to feast. We're going to catch up with y'all on the rise. Mm. <laughs> Much love y'all. Give thanks for tuning in. We're going to be posting part two of the vlog in a few days which is going to be more about the adventures that we took out in St. Lucia. And if y'all want to join us in St. Lucia, we're having our New Year's Eve retreat and two spots have just opened up. So if you are interested, click the link in the description and let's make it happen. I'll see y'all in St. Lucia.